Hey, good to see you all. Tony here from Bikeberry. As you know, Mr. R. Kaler has claimed the Switz Cruise giveaway prize. I'm getting ready to ship it out. This week I've been going through it from A to Z to make sure everything is in tip top shape because you know we've been wrenching on this thing for quite a while now and I just wanted to make sure everything was functioning properly before I shipped it out next week. So one of the things I'm gonna do as a little extra bonus is I'm gonna put our HD, which is our heavy duty rim, on the back of it. Now this has, see, a free wheel sprocket on the back. Uh, it won't have any of that coaster brake stuff, so this is a very nice, easy to use, heavy duty rim that's gonna last them a long time. The only difference is, is this hub is a one inch hub compared to the one and a half inch hub that came with the original rim. So you remember on the videos back, I had to cut a notch in it and put a keyway in so the, the uh, sprocket adapter wouldn't slip. Now, many of you in the comments said, hey, all you gotta do is drill a bolt, you know, a hole, tap it, put a bolt in there, and then that'll help stop it also. And I love that idea. So I said, well, someday when I come, you know, across that, I'll do that and I'll share it with all of you. So today is the day. What I'm gonna do, is I'm going to take this hub adapter. I'm gonna drill a hole in this side of it, right in here, all the way through to here, uh, all the way through. I'm gonna tap it, and then we're gonna have it go into the hub with this 5 16 bolt, okay? Let's roll. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mount it up here on the drill press. And I have one of these little drill press vices. Then next, what I'm going to do is change out to the drill bit that came with my tap. If you look at this, so this is a 5 16 tap and the drill bit that came with it. It's properly sized. So you're going to want to find your center both directions. This looks like it's about three quarters wide, which is roughly three eighths to the center. Okay, you're going to make a little mark that way. Then we want to go between here and pick a center point. Let's say it's four inches across roughly, and that's two inches. Okay, boom. So that edge, my little line there. Something that I noticed with a lot of these newer taps is they're flat at the beginning point of it and then it tapers down, okay? Can you see that? I twirl it a little bit. Uh, this helps it start better and then establish the threads better. Really all you gotta do is oil it and then start turning it in and make sure you're staying straight. Let's do that. So I'm gonna leave it in the vise and I got some of this tool oil. I have to leave the bottle upside down because I dropped it and broke it one time. <laughs> but I'll fill this up with oil and I'll even oil across the tap. It's pretty good. I'll sit down there. See how it sits down in there? Pretty straight from the get go. Now, you can have one of those tap wrenches, but it has handles on both sides. I like to use a mini crescent wrench instead because then I can just do this and turn it. So one thing you're gonna wanna be aware of when you're cutting your threads into it is you wanna 
back it out because there's going to be these little pieces of metal in there. So I back it out all the way. Okay, and you see how it's got those little pieces of stuff on there, right? So you want to get those off of it. it even sometimes gets bound up in the cutter like that. You want to get those out of there best you can. And just keep starting fresh every time. The more careful you are with it, the better luck you'll have and the cleaner threads that you'll cut. So one thing you have to remember is this is a, a hardened tool that can crack or break if you get too abusive with it. So you just turn it little by little. And then when it kind of gets hard, back it out. This is good to a good way to do it if you have never done it before. Again, see all the stuff in there? Gently and firmly, I'm twisting it. And then I'll go in there and I'll put some fresh oil in it. Around each flute, squeeze some in, you'll be good. So if it's kind of tough, back it out and then go back and forth. Don't be in a hurry with this, okay? It's a lot of thickness, you have to remember. You're going through what? An inch or so of thickness there. Okay, anytime it starts to feel pretty hard and I'm concerned about maybe breaking it, I back it out. And I clean off all my threads. I'm gonna re-oil it. As you can see, that tap is pretty much at the end there and the end there. So if we bury it all the way, we'll have cut threads all the way through. It's a good idea to oil your bolt before our test fit. There you go. So driving the bolt down in there, hit a stopping point. So that means there's some junk in the way that I pushed down in there. So I'll back the bolt all the way out and then drive the tap in there again. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just keep driving the screw in just to make sure everything's clean make sure the tapped hole is clean. So far I'm able to do it with my fingers, so that's a plus, right? You can do it with your fingers. Okay, I'm feeling a little catch there. Let's put this on here. It's almost to the end. All right, as you can see, we're try this bolt all the way through because the goal is to get it through that hole, right? All right, look at that. So that's what we want to mate up to our hub. Okay, so we get a little bit in there, but not too far. You know, maybe eighth of an inch or so. You don't need much. So it's mounted on here. In the right spot, there we go. Cool thing is it sits real tight between these openings in the spokes. All right, so the best way to put the indentation into the hub is to use a 90 degree drill attachment. This will make it so you can get basically in here like this. See how that works? Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> basically, we're gonna go right in there with the same bit that we used to drill this. It's not gonna wreck the threads or anything as long as you stay straight you'll be okay because you're going to be inside those threads. I'm just going to drill down. And pull it out because you'll have some debris. I'll probably put on the fast speed. Okay. 
starting to feel it kind of go through. I think that's probably good. Knock out the stuff. Since this is a freewheel type hub, the axle bolt goes all the way through. There's a bearing set here and a bearing set over here. There's nothing in between here. It's wide open space. So you could drill all the way through and still be okay. So I'm gonna drop my two inch bolt in there gently because there's, again, there might be debris and everything in the thread. So I'm gonna gently screw it in there. Again, back it out if I have to. So something to think about is getting a set of these drivers with the Allen key in it for your ratchet. Pretty awesome. All right, you can see the bolt right here. If you put the tape measure against the hub, it's about a quarter of an inch that the bolt is in there. So that's a really easy way. Drill a hole, tap it, put a bolt in it. Everything works as should. See how that bolt is in there? It looks nice, doesn't it? Pretty easy deal. You can see that this is all nice and free. It's gonna work really good. Well, as you can see, we have a good hub adapter on a smaller diameter hub. We were able to add a bolt that will help keep it locked in and not let it move. So uh, I feel pretty good about this. And we're gonna give our friend, Mr. Kaler, a nice solid bike. I'm excited. So thank you guys for talking about this in the comments below uh, on the other videos. And you know, that's how this video is created because more people were interested in wanting to see that. So please like, subscribe, comment below with any of your questions or any of the insight that you have and maybe other methods that you know of that I've never tried yet because I'm all about trying stuff. So I'm excited. We have a ton of new stuff coming your way. We've made a giant list of videos and I've already been uh, recording some of them and getting them ready to, you know, to launch over the next months that are several months that are coming ahead. So I appreciate you all. Let's roll.